Hello and welcome to EQ Magazine, India's largest solar media. Today we have Mr. Vikas Arya from Jackson Group with us. Welcome, sir. Sir, my first question to you is, what kind of changes do you see in the industry after the BCD implementation on solar panels? Uh, with the BCD implementation from 1st of April, the prices of uh, modules have gone up, which has badly affected the overall you know, project cost for, for the developer as well as for the end customers. So from that perspective, it is, a, it is a little bit of challenging time because the increase has been quite steep. But I think uh, it is good overall for the industry and it will take some time to settle down. Because in spite of this increase, still the overall tariff for solar is still the cheapest option of uh, power. So that uh, gives us confidence that this particular uh, phase will just stabilize over a period of time and customers will again, you know, come back to that. Because uh, we remember, you know, the solar was being installed earlier at 100 rupees per watt peak and then it came to 50, then 40, then it touched the rock bottom of maybe 30, 35 rupees per kilowatt. So now it will hover around 40, 42 rupees, which I feel is still a sustainable, uh, you know, prices for the market. And as the market further grows, as we have more manufacturing capacities coming up in India, and more, uh, more raw material also coming up in India and I see these prices will again settle down over the next couple of months and it will just, you know, the, the market will settle its on its own. Sir, my next question is, what kind of pricing and technology roadmap do you see coming through in the industry and what are the Jackson uh, uh, opportunities and the strategies on that? Uh, we have recently, you know, uh, seen the trend going towards the high range of modules which is mainly with half cut cells. Uh, started from M6 last year, then M10 and M12. So we see the trend is shifting towards the bigger size of modules as well as, you know, the bifacial ones. So, of course, you know, the bifacial globally has already been implemented, but India has started a big, uh, taken a big stride in bifacial module this year. We almost, you know, 2 to 3 gigawatt of uh, bifacial modules already ordered by different developers and customers, which are under implementation. And the kind of response that we are seeing from the customers, from the feedback we are getting, we feel that bifacial modules are going to have an increase in their share in the coming coming years. And that will be the trend which we are going to see. And on the bifacial also, you know, there is a talk going on between uh, transparent back sheet and glass to glass. So as of now, glass to glass is taking uh, going ahead as compared to back sheet. Because back sheet is still, you know, not very confident for a long life. So, but at the same time, backsheet is also working. The companies are working on the backsheet technologies. So, but overall, uh, bifacial modules give you additional gain of 5 to 10 percent to 15 percent also, which is an added advantage for any customer. So, bifacial is something, the trend which is going to go. So, keeping in mind with that uh, thing, we already have a roadmap ready for next two years. We have launched this monofacial uh, modules last year. Bifacial, we have, we are going, we have already introduced, but formally we are going to supply from next quarter wherein we are going to start supply with this 540-550 watt peak range and then on the top one side we are working on it with the end type so that technology is already lining up for the next year uh, with our uh, technical partners and we feel with the new line which we are coming up and along with the new uh, cell uh, suppliers that we have so this is with top con it will again take the efficiency to the higher level so this is the roadmap which we see for the next uh, couple of years sir so my last question to you is India could not achieve the RE capacity target set for 2022 and now has set up another ambitious target for 2030. What are your views on the same key learnings and expectations? So there are two ways of looking at it that we could not achieve that ambitious target and other is what we have achieved. So we've already crossed 100 gigawatt of solar in renewable installation with 50 gigawatt of solar installation which I feel is a much, much big achievement. It may not have happened because the, in between we had around one and a half years of COVID. So keeping that into mind, we have still done reasonably good and reaching that level today, India is the third largest uh, you know, country having highest number of solar installations in a year. So reaching that stage is a big uh, achievement in itself and the way the focus is there from the government, the industry is very much excited about it and the customers getting benefit out of solar and uh, you know everybody going for clean energy now so this is only going to take up from here so i think we have done the you know the base work has already been done so from average 10 gigawatt going up to 20 to 25 gigawatt per year is something we are looking at in the next couple of years and it is a very good uh, pace to go on so i think uh, big big uh, marks and big contact, uh, you know congratulations to the government and all the stakeholders along including the industry for achieving this milestone thank you so much sir for joining us thank, thank you, you. Thank you.